Let's go back to the United Airlines story then. We heard from the lawyer at the beginning of this part of the programme. Uh, he said he also felt the flight attendants should have done more and said he didn't think race was a factor in what happened. Dr Dow's daughter, Crystal Dow Pepper, told reporters the family is sickened by his treatment. On behalf of my dad and my entire family, we would like to express our gratitude for the huge outpouring of prayers, love and concern that we have received from all over the world these past few days. We would also like to thank the physicians, the nurses, and all the hospital staff that has taken care of my dad. It has been a very difficult time for our entire family, especially my dad, and we are truly grateful for your support. What happened to my dad should have never happened to any human being, regardless of the circumstance. We were horrified and shocked and sickened to learn what had happened to him and to see what had happened to him. We hope that in the future, nothing like this happens again. Sarah Nelson's president of the Association of Flight Attendants. They represent 50,000 attendants, half of whom work for United. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Uh, first of all, your reaction to what uh, the solicitor said about the flight attendants should have stepped in. What, what's your view on that? Well, first of all, we, we have tremendous empathy for Dr. Dow, for his family, and we absolutely agree with them that this never should have happened and never should happen again. Um, in terms of what the flight attendants could have done, I, I think we need to remember that flight attendants are first and foremost aviation's first responders. Our job is to keep order in the cabin and de-escalate conflict, and oftentimes we do that um, under very difficult circumstances and, and sometimes able, are able to contain problems that the rest of the plane is very grateful for. In this case, um, the, the flight crew was not in charge of what happened um, uh, to Mr. Dow. And it, it, the agents are responsible for handling the seating of the passengers. Certainly that should have been taken care of in, in the gate area, not on the plane. But what happened was that the Chicago Aviation Security Officers, once they came on board, they were in control of the situation, and that's when the force was used. And United Airlines has taken responsibility for this in terms of addressing it, calling it out for how wrong it is, and um, putting together a, a thorough plan uh, to address this from start to finish about how we can avoid getting to this place uh, in the future. Can I just it's ask you to clarify something for us? Because I know your members, are, are you're all trained in de-escalation aren't you but at the moment that the chicago security board the plane uh, what, what would be your training then would it be to leave them to it and to not get involved yes the moment that the security officers get on board they are in charge and we are not to interfere with the security officers we're trained um specifically not to do that and so um that then at that point becomes out of our hands i do also want to note that this was a republic airlines flight there are about 2,400 express flights that fly for United under uh, different management. Uh, Brian Bedford is the CEO of Republic Airlines, so this was not a United mainline flight. But 2,000 mainline flights take off every single day for United, 2,400 express flights, and um, without incident. This incident should not define United or the airline workers who take our jobs very seriously every single day. Uh, to get all of us to our loved ones or to the big business deal um, or our military around the world. So this, this should not define aviation's first responders who deliver babies, revive people from massive heart attacks, get people off burning airplanes before they are engulfed in flames. It, and what I find is that flight attendants are some of the most caring people in the world. And that's really who they are. And, and that's what United Airlines is as well. You know, the airline has really turned around since Oscar Munoz has become CEO. It was a dreadful place to work before that. I'm a union leader, have been at odds with the airline for many years because of the way that they've been treat, treated the employees. And since Oscar Munoz came on board, the first thing he did was focus on the customers and the employees who he knew were going to be in direct contact with them. So right off the bat, he had a message for employees that we needed to continue to fly right um, and that uh, w there were lessons to learn from this, that, that we deeply regretted this. We needed to take a close look at this and learn from it. Um, but he very much wanted to engage all the employees who he knew were going to take the brunt of this mob mentality attack through the Internet on United Airlines and its employees, which is really misplaced. And we still have to go out... You can't and say it's misplaced authority. when a bloke's been dragged down the aisle of a plane, surely. I, 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 think, I think misplaced... Surely you can understand of... people's outrage. 
Absolutely, and, and I want to make that very clear, that we absolutely condemn what happened. Um, it should never happen. It should never happen again. Uh, but now, uh, every single day, the flight attendants must maintain authority on the ca- in the cabin and on the plane in order to keep any other incidents from happening. And, sure. and this, this circumstance, absolutely, um, th- you know, s- set that aside um, because it's, it's absolutely horrific, and I don't want to um, undermine that statement or that recognition. Um, but now we have to continue to do our jobs, and we have to have the authority to do it. And I'm very concerned that the, the reaction to this is undermining our authority and our ability to keep that space safe for all the passengers that we carry every single day. That's our mission. That's what we need to be able to do. And since September 11th, we're not only aviation's first responders r- responding to the safe and healthy and health of everyone on board, but also aviation's last line of defense. And flight attendants have thwarted major um, terrorist acts um, or other threats to our security. So we have to have the authority to do that, the ability to do that, and we implore the the public to consider themselves a part of a community when they come to the plane and recognize that we are there to support them, to keep them safe, and um, that we will continue to do that. Okay, Sarah, thank you for joining us tonight on Five Lives. Uh, Joe Leaders from the Airline Passenger Experience Association. We, Joe, we spoke on Monday night, didn't we? And now Thursday, and we're still talking about this. Is it getting any better for United? It is, because when you, when their CEO, Oscar Munoz, came out and gave the heartfelt apology and they yielded on the issue of this was wrong to the passenger, this was not the right thing for security to do, it changed the tone a bit. What it took him three today, goes to do that, though, didn't it? It did. And as I said the other day, the best time for them to make that apology would have been on day one. The second best time was when they finally made it. I was very happy before I went on BBC Live for the TV interview that they um, that I was sent an advanced copy of what they were sending out. And I was heartened because that's what needed to be said um, from the outset. And Sarah is absolutely correct. The one The one concern that I have now is that As we look at our flight attendants across airlines around the world, you want to make certain that they're able to maintain an environment of ladies and gentlemen um, serving ladies and gentlemen. It's a two-way street. Passengers need to behave nicely to one another, to their flight crew, and and they need to be given the same level of respect. That what happened to Dr. Dow is completely unacceptable. But at the same time, I'm a little bit concerned that we're tilting too far and that we're going to have every imaginable incident suddenly on video uh, by passengers, and it may change the dynamic here quite quickly. Um, you know, it's it's been... Uh, there was the other. There was the other incident that came out on the uh, passenger that had something similar happen on United. There was a, a minor incident today, and it, it seems like it's piling on on United, which isn't really fair to an airline that's turned around their passenger experience on both their sar- soft product and hard product so much over the past year. Joe, thanks for your time, Ian. I appreciate it. Joe Leader from the Airline Passenger Experience Association. Before that, Sarah Nelson, president of the Association of Flight Attendants. Twenty-four minutes past eleven.